Hi guys, good morning. How's everybody doing today? Um, I got up super early today. I watched a lot of your videos last night and I got so inspired that I ended up waking up really early this morning and I wanted to get a project done and completed um, before my kids got up. And then now I'm gonna try to film a quick, quick, quick tutorial before they wake up. So we'll see what happens. So if you hear some uh, voices in the background halfway through, it's probably them asking for food. Um, okay, so I've never done a tutorial before, um, on YouTube anyway, and I'm going to do the best that I can, uh, but I wanted to show you guys a super quick and easy project. Um, I made this little embellishment pack from these flowers. Um, they are absolutely adorable for gifting, super simple. Um, I didn't need to do anything other than dig inside my stash. Um, the supplies that I used were three, pace, three pieces of pattern cardstock. Um, I chose a Maggie Holmes collection. I believe it's Flourish. Um, and mine has that little uh, strip across the top, which I was going to use. I did that on purpose because I'm using it. Um, so I picked three pieces of that. Then I have my two punches, my fist cards. You guys, I love the quality of this punch. It's amazing. Um, this was a Tuesday morning haul item. Um, and I've never had a one of these thicker punches before. It's awesome. I'm used to the Hobby Lobby ones and they're okay. You know, they, they get the job done, but this is so um, much better quality. Um, so I'm using that. And then I just have my half inch punch and I, um, yeah, half inch punch there. Um, the... First thing I did was grab a piece of um, recycled packaging. I save my little cellophane um, pieces when they are um, finished. Um, and I don't know what was in here, but um, it's just, you know, a recycled package. You could use a new one too, no problem, obviously. Then I measured my cardstock and cut it an eighth of an inch shorter than um, the length and the height, or excuse me, the width and the height. And I won't bother you with those measurements because they're going to be different depending on your packaging. Um, so that was my first step. Um, my second step was I cut, I punched, and I did six, I did all six at once, but we're just going to do one since it's um, a tutorial. Um, I punched out one of those. Uh, then I took my flocked cardstock here, and this is from Michael's. Um, and I punched here, let's go over here just in case I want to punch one of those. Um, I used hot glue, which I have off to the side because my glue gun won't stretch into frame. And besides, if you guys saw it, you would probably have me arrested um, for having um, literally the grossest glue gun in all the land. So then I, oops, let me get back in frame here. Sorry, guys. Like I said, first two, two. Um... Then I went ahead and hot glued those two things together. Then I took just my fingers. I didn't use a bone folder or anything, a curling device of any kind. Just took my fingers and pulled each petal up just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of dimension. The next thing that you wanna do is take your punch and your half inch punch and go up into that strip. Let's see if I can find one that I like. Um, okay, we'll just try this. You don't need to be too picky, but. So take your half inch punch then, and oh, pardon me, I just totally nailed the camera with my elbow. Then you wanna take your um, foam dot. These are sticky thumb. They're just the little small squares um, from Tuesday morning. You're gonna put that on and of course now I can't get it off because I'm filming um, and then you want to go ahead and obviously secure that in the center just like that press down get it nice and tight and then I used for my flower centers this pack of crystal embellishments from Michael sorry there's a random Maggie Holmes thing in there um, these are the traditional, I don't have the packaging anymore, but it was just these, this traditional recollections packaging. Um, if you want to, you know, complete it the same. Um, and then I picked just a coordinating dot. I think I'll choose this one. Um, 
add it to the center. Name frame, yeah, okay. Add it to the center. Okay, that's not quite in the <laughs> not quite in the center. And actually, what I was doing, you guys, and I'm gonna do it, is I put a dot of glue right in the center of hot glue because these are sticky, but they're not that sticky. And then when I go to put that on, not only will it stick, but I have a little wiggle room to make sure that I can center it. Okay, so then I got it centered. And then just push down. Okay, and there's that. All the way done. Um, oops, gosh, you guys, the glue string situation is rough over here. Okay, so now that my embellishment is done, um, the next step that I did was I took my sticky thumb, sticky dots from the old Tuesday morning. These are great too, you guys. I use these for all different kinds of things. Took one side off and then I just stuck that to the back, okay? And I left the cellophane on. Then I take my Tombow here Go ahead and put it on the cardstock, guys, because it doesn't stick to the sticky thumb, sticky thumb cellophane. Ooh, that was a rough one. Sticky thumb cellophane. And then go ahead and just put your embellishment on the cardstock. And there you have it. And the goal is that when they go to peel it off, they will have... This will be sticky, but the paper won't be because the cellophane is covering what stuck it on there. And then they can stick it back in the package. This, they don't have to use them all at once and they can just put that, store it back in the package um, without having super sticky paper. I hope I measured this correctly. But yeah, so then when you're done, I made six. You could do packs of four or eight or whatever you want and then you just stick it in the package. And so much could be done with this packaging, you guys like a ton. I chose to keep it super simple because that's just sort of my way. And the truth is, is I'm not as talented as some of you ladies. And when I start trying to gild the lily, as my mom would say, it just turns out looking, oh, not, sometimes sweet and simple is the way to go, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to leave mine like this, but you could add whatever you wanted, a bag topper, um, you could add your stickers to the back, like whatever you wanted. Um, so yeah, so that's how quick and easy it was. I think you could do the whole pack in probably 15 minutes, start to finish. Um, super, 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 super quick and simple project. Um, so I was excited about getting that done. And then I wanted to show you guys one thing really quickly. I made a Father's Day. I have to pull it up on my iPad because... Um, I, of course, already gave this away, but for Father's Day, I made this really cute photo portfolio, um, and I wanted to, I was excited to show you guys because I had finally tried my hand at one of those flags, um, and the flag part turned out adorable, um, and the portfolio was cute as well, um, but I took the video, and then forgot to post it. So I may post the video. Um, it was sort of a random video because that <laughs> the day that I filmed, I cut my finger really badly and um, I couldn't clean my desk. I'm um, sorry, I got a little news alert there. Um, I couldn't clean my desk um, because I like literally couldn't um, pick the stuff up off my desk. I had to wait for the bleed. <laughs> <laughs> to subside and I'm only laughing because I'm fine now I'm totally fine but um so I had to film upstairs and I was also in a rush because I was trying to get out the door so the whole thing was a little cray cray um and subsequently that's for why I forgot to post it too because it was such a crazy busy day but um anyway I might go ahead and post that video but if I don't I just wanted to tell you guys that I am I am creating over here um and having lots of fun so we shall see if that video makes it to the airwaves or not. But thank you so much for hanging out with me for this little early morning tutu. Um, glad my kids slept through the whole thing because um, that just makes it easier for everybody. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. 
um, and that you aren't all too hot. I know there's some serious heat moving around this America of ours, so I hope you guys are staying cool and comfy. And if you have any comments um, at all, or any ideas or feedback for me of any kind, definitely leave me a comment down below. And until next time, you guys, everybody take care and have an awesome weekend. Bye.